Well, I've got myself a nice new rug. It's a lovely red Indian thing, and it ain't much smaller than my new workshop. So in this new tiny space, and on my lovely new rug, I thought it'd be a good idea to build a great big dining table. Now this type of table goes back eons, and as with oak from the past, it's designed for handwork. And the great thing about a trestle table is it can be scaled easily, and you can also add as much fluff and detail as you like. I wanted to go clean with this one though. As it's out of redwood, I didn't want it picking up any of that nunty vibe that I fear too many details would give it with it being pine. The top is about 32 inch wide and a bit under 7 foot long. And each of the boards are mortised and tended into each other so it ain't going nowhere. It's an heavy thing as it's a full 2 inch thick, but I taper it down at the edges to lighten the look. It's then capped off with some simple end caps. The base is simple enough, it's made of two trestles and then a rail that ties them together with a tusk tenon. I went clean with the trestles. From the ends they look like big old eye beams, but there's a lot more to them than you first think. Every face of every part is tapered, so we had to tackle the joinery slightly different than normal. These are all stout mortars and tenons that are wedged to keep them in place. The finish could be what you wanted, but I wanted to show you one of my favourite own brews, the pine. It doesn't yellow the wood, it's dead easy to make and put on. Now the best part is, this old thing gets knocked up with a basic bag of antles and a creaking elbow, as there ain't much space for machines on the Indian rug. I ain't got electricity either, but that's what I love so much about these old designs, the made for antles. <laughs> 